Morocco is known for its history of natural beauty rituals and remedies. It is the land of argan oil, orange blossom, nana mint, olive oil, rasul cleansing mud, and of course the Moroccan hammam. In this video, I was in Marrakech and decided to buy a few Moroccan natural products to treat myself to an at-home spa. I'm starting by doing a first wash with this shea butter and argan oil soap. Next, I will use a soap that is very commonly used in Morocco, the Beldi soap. Beldi means native or authentic in Arabic. It has the consistency of a buttery balm and is made of olive oil as well as other natural plant oils. This one has eucalyptus and argan oils. I let it do its magic for about 10 minutes before rinsing it off. Dead skin cells are removed and much softer skin is revealed. Moroccan people like to do a deep scrub of their entire body once a week at the hammam or simply at home using an exfoliating glove. This stimulates blood flow, removes even more dead skin cells and will leave you feeling refreshed and ultra clean. Next, I'm applying this body butter made of argan oil and shea butter scented with rosewood oil. It's the perfect body butter, so rich and aromatic. Since it contains a good amount of argan oil, I wanted to say here that argan oil is exclusively grown and produced in Morocco. This liquid gold is highly prized in Morocco and used to be a well-kept secret, but of course is now used worldwide. You can find it everywhere in Moroccan bazaars. I'm going to use a Rasul mud mask on my face. Rasul comes from the Arabic word to wash and is indeed very purifying and cleansing. It is unique to Morocco as the minerals originate from the Atlas Mountains. This one is infused with orange blossom oil and contains argan oil and honey. Not only does this mask smell so delicious, I wanted to eat it, but it left me with aromatherapy benefits and of course soothed soft skin and redness had calmed down. It gave me that lit from within natural glow. Really nice. Now for a hair treatment. This part was actually filmed in Isawira, about three hours west of Marrakech, on the Atlantic Ocean coast of Morocco. I stopped to buy some amlu, which is a Moroccan specialty. It's basically almond butter mixed with a generous portion of toasted argan oil, giving it a very uniquely rich, nutty flavor. While I was in Morocco, I was truly addicted to this stuff. I ended up also buying a hair treatment made of the argan kernel leftovers once the oil has been pressed. Okay, so I'm going to try this argan hair mask. And as I showed you, it is not a normal like argan oil or you know anything that I've ever seen before. It smells very nutty like almonds, like roasted almonds. And they told me to take a piece this size for long hair and add water and kind of make like a paste with it, kind of like a creamy paste. So let's try it out. It's going to be harder to mix together than I thought. Okay, so this is the best that I could do. It looks amazing. I'm going to apply it to my hair right now. Yeah, it was a little harder to put on than I thought it wouldn't like spread and it made my hair like a little hard. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Hey, so I'm just getting ready to actually film like a little favorites video, but I thought I would show you the results that I got. I found it really hard actually to wash out. There was like little, like imagine ground up almonds, like caught in your hair so i used conditioner on top of it but i must say that it looks shinier and it's softer than when 
than whenever I did not use it before. So I will definitely keep uh, using it as long as I can. That is definitely something I'll be missing when I won't be in Morocco anymore because I won't have access to this. It's like they're kind of leftover after um, the person who's making the argan oil. She's like pressing into the, the mass and then so the oil comes out and then they sell that. But then they make like little sort of um, kind of pucks. I really love it. Yeah, really nice. Now that I've left Morocco and I don't have any more of these products left, I realized how much I enjoyed using them on a daily basis. I love how Moroccans value using local and traditional ingredients and keep their products as natural as possible. Natural seemed like the norm here and I didn't have to look everywhere for products with no added harmful chemicals and preservatives. I especially miss Beldi soap. I hope you enjoyed this video of my Moroccan at home spa treatment. Give this video a thumbs up if you did, leave me a comment letting me know what you think and subscribe to join the Holistic Maya family.